Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5. My mic is on. Yes, it's Friday, March the 6th. I am one day away from Britney Spears in Miami. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to tell you all about it on Monday. But first, as far as Friday's showbiz news, another star is down and out on Dancing with the Stars. What are they putting these celebrities through in these rehearsals? Last week, Jewel dropped out because she developed tendonitis on both knees. And now Nancy O'Dell had the same knee issue. She thought it was going to be tendonitis, but she's actually done more damage. There's like some broken stuff going on in there, and she's going to have to have knee surgery. So she's gone. We do know Holly Madison took Jewel's place, but it might be too late in the game for ABC to bring in somebody to replace uh, Nancy O'Dell. Robin Williams postponed uh, about eight shows or so of his Weapons of Self-Destruction tour because he was having breathing problems. But then he checked into the hospital and found out he's going to have to have heart surgery to replace an aortic valve, the same surgery that former First Lady Barbara Bush just had. Uh, but now he's going to have to cancel the rest of this particular tour. Tickets are being offered for a full refund, or you can hang on to those, and they will be honored when he reschedules his tour dates, which we don't know when that's actually going to happen. T.I., when is that boy going to jail? Well, now we know. March 27th, he's going to have to show up before a judge in Atlanta. And that's what they do. They say, okay, you're sentenced to one day, one year and one day in jail. They'll put the cuffs on him and lead him out to the pokey. And that's where he'll be for quite a while. Uh, he pleaded guilty to possession of an unregistered weapon or unregistered weapons. There was more than one. Uh, Paris Hilton, she is apparently completely unaffected by this horrible economy. She, in fact, throws it in our faces. She has ordered $280,000 diamond encrusted dashboard for her pink Bentley. Now this is the Bentley she bought for herself as a Christmas present, had the whole thing spray painted pink, even replaced the Bentley logo with her initials. But now it wasn't quite sparkly enough for her, so she wants the thing covered in diamonds every place possible on the interior. Bentley said they'll do it for her, but they're going to have to wait a few months because they had to shut down production until May because of the bad economy. And finally, Chris Brown was in court yesterday. Rihanna did not show up with him, but his mom and brother did to show their support. The whole appearance took less than five minutes. Basically, he was charged with two felony counts, one for assault, one for making criminal threats. He did not enter a plea either way of guilt or innocence. The judge did, though, warn him, you know, you can't assault anybody, you can't be laying your hands on anyone. He's like, yes, ma'am. And then when the judge asked uh, if there was a no contact order in place, that's when Chris's attorney said Miss Fenty doesn't require an order, doesn't request such an order. And Miss Fenty, of course, is Rihanna's real name, Robin Fenty. Now, the continuance was granted until April 6th. Until that time, Chris does not have to show back in court. If anything else is needed, his attorney can appear on his behalf. But if he is convicted on both of these counts, he's looking at a maximum four years and eight months in prison. We'll see how it goes, especially since Rihanna is not going to be a cooperative witness any longer. That's your Showbiz Top 5 for Friday.